Hey YouTube, Maddie's Daddy 12, Team JMT. Um, normally, you're going to get Yu Gi Oh content and Yu Gi Oh related content from this channel, but uh, today uh, it's the 10th anniversary of the 9 11 attacks, and I would just really like to take the time to remember exactly what happened. Uh, that day and the tragedy that this nation faced uh, that day. Um, so, uh, as we all know, I mean, 10 years ago today was when the terrorists uh, flew two planes into the World Trade Center and uh, buildings one and two, uh, and then also flew a plane into the Pentagon, um, and then the failed attack on what would have been the, the White House uh, flight. United 93 uh, that crashed in Pennsylvania. Um, ten years and one day ago, terrorism, terrorist, uh, was something that we saw in action movies. You know, that was that was something that Schwarzenegger and Stallone thought. Uh, that wasn't something that we had to worry about. Um, but on September 11th, uh, 2001, that all changed for our world and our nation. Um, and I just want to talk about what impact that had on me and, and my environment. Um, there's, there's, two, there's two scenes that really stick with me. Um, I was working second shift at a factory here in Owensboro um, that, uh, then, and... Uh, I would get up early, you know, take care of my stuff in town, then go to work in the afternoon. So I was up uh, watching television whenever, you know, every channel was taken over with this. Uh, so I actually watched nearly all of the footage uh, just because I was off work at that time and, and was able to. So uh, I saw the second plane hit. Um... I saw both buildings collapse. I mean, of course, on on television. But um, one thing that really stuck with me was the second building collapsing. Um, I believe it was actually building the World Trade Center building one uh, was the second to collapse, and uh, the scene that you have was the building itself, smoke rolling out of it, and then the upper part of it just collapsing just straight down and all you have is the skyline at that point you have the building just collapses and and just disappears uh... that that image sticks with me quite a bit um, and then there's another image of the pentagon um, there's a local news crew uh... i was actually kinda hoping to to see this footage again just because it's the tenth anniversary I know that sounds kind of morbid, but I've never seen the footage again on any of the news coverage since then, and I was just kind of hoping to to see it again. Um, it's from the Pentagon, and there's a local a local news, and it's got their camera pointed towards the the hole in the Pentagon, and you see this group of of soldiers and uniformed workers, and 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 they're coming out of of the Pentagon and the reporter stops talking for a moment I mean the group was probably every bit of 150 to 200 people maybe even upwards of 300 I, I really don't know how large the group was but the reporter stops talking and just at that moment you can hear somebody hollering from the back of the group you can't really make out what he says, but it, it's something along the lines of there, there's people stuck in the building. And at that moment, not a quarter or a half, but, but the entire group turns around and heads back into the burning building to save what people they could. Um, and that's just one of the, uh, one of the, the images that really sticks with me. And one of the moments from this that really that really stays close to my heart. Um, also, I want to take this moment to thank the firefighters, the police officers, the first responders, um, 
all of those people that put their lives on the line day in and day out. Uh, I have several friends that are volunteer firemen. Uh, a couple of real close friends actually that are that are volunteer firemen and one of them is uh, a fellow JMT member uh, Sidekicker 08 uh, Dylan Lanham. Uh, he's a volunteer fireman and uh, I just I want to take this time to personally thank the firemen, the first responders, the police officers and and, and Dylan and just and, and personally thank them for going out every day and putting their lives on the line to protect me and my family and and my community. Uh, not just on our days of of terror, but on an everyday on an everyday basis. They put their lives on the line to protect us and I just I want to personally thank thank all of them. And uh Let's also let's let's take a chance to remember the uh, the United 93, uh, the the people on that flight that was able to fight back, and uh, yeah, it, it went down in in the Pennsylvania field, but I mean they were able to to fight back at a moment when the our nation felt helpless. They protected us. So uh, let's just all oh, please just take a moment today and reflect on what that day meant to you and uh, and what the uh, what changes to our world uh, affect you now because of that day. Um, thank you guys for watching and uh, I really appreciate it.